Hey YouTube, it's your home girl Lina Ma and today's video is my first ever monthly favourite of 2017. So let's just begin. Oh, and before I start, I'm just going to start this video off with a disclaimer. This video may or may not contain some burping. If you are easily offended by that, then um, maybe just don't watch. Anyway, let's get started with the favourites. The first thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is a perfume. Um, I picked this up in Boots. It was $17.99 on offer. It's a 50ml bottle of Ghost. I think this particular one is called Deep Night. I love this scent. And can I just say, it lasts all day long. I have some perfumes that I've paid a lot of money for, like the Giorgio Armani C, and it doesn't last all day, which is really disappointing. But this one, for $17.99, I can put it on in the morning, and by the evening, I still smell like this. I love it so much, and I love the way it looks as well. I'm tempted to get the other one that comes in like the white moon, like, the other one. I don't know, let me know if you guys recommend any other fragrances by Ghost because I do really like this one of theirs as well. But Deep Night is the one that's in my January favourites. So I've actually only got one makeup item. I've been loving the no makeup look. I'm, I'm liking wearing no makeup. I know today is a little bit different, but I've been opting for a nude lip and the one I've been liking in January is from this Urban Decay Vice palette. They do sell it separately, but I don't own it separately. And it's in the shade Ex-Girlfriend. As you guys can see, I have used it. It's just a really nice everyday color. I like the formula, the consistency, and the packaging of this as well is beautiful. So a few skincare bits. Now, I am gonna be doing a review on this brand in a little bit. I am testing them out. But the first thing that I did get from there that I really, 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 really liked, I went and made like two more orders with them. I just really like this brand. They are called The Ordinary. And in my monthly favorites, I'm including this 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. As I mentioned, I will be doing a review on these products. So I won't talk too much in depth, but they are very, very affordable. I picked these up on ASOS. I think the most expensive thing that they do is about 13 pounds or so. And this, when I initially got it, I really didn't like the smell. It kind of smells like cod liver oil. But once it's on my skin, it's hardly noticeable. And I just love the way my skin feels in the morning. After using these products for just a few days, my skin feels so plump. And normally I can't use a overnight oil every day because it tends to break me out. But this, I've been using it every day since I got it and I don't know what I was doing without this. And another skincare item by The Ordinary, I also picked up this Buffet, Buffet, Buffet Multi-Technology Peptide Serum. And again, I have been using this morning and night. I absolutely love it. Detailed review coming soon. I've got a few more of their um, products as well that I'm trying out. These two are the ones I've been reaching for currently. Loving them. Loving, loving, loving them. So the next favorite is a little bit of a miscellaneous item because it is a diary. It sounds boring, but I had to put it in my favorites because every new year I pick up a new diary and it's always the same one and it is by Moleskin. I usually pick up a different color every year. This time I've gone for this gorgeous kind of orange I think it's showing up as red on camera, but it is orange, and I got it personalized with my name in gold here. And the reason why I am featuring it, like I said, I buy it every year, but it just keeps me organized. It's got the days here, and every day I just kind of, I won't show you like my lists for the day, because someone will zoom in and you'll see it says like, wax mustache. That is actually one of the things, a wax mustache is on my to-do list. Um, but yeah, I'm a neat freak and I like to like cross things off and tick them off and it just keeps my life in check. I absolutely love it. It's so useful. It's got a note section at the back, a little pocket as well if you want to put secret love letters. I don't know. Currency conversions and um, time zones for everywhere. It's just, it's amazing. I love this Moleskine book and if you like being organized, definitely check this out. Now I'm gonna move on to Munchie of the Month. Okay, so this Munchie, I'm not gonna lie, I do have something negative to say about it, and that is I can't find it anywhere in the supermarket. So let me just talk about it first. It is this, this, 
It is a packet of these I love. Nina's 100% natural popcorn and I have the flavour cacao, cacao, goji berries and pistachios. First off, it's a really pretty popcorn packaging but the flavour is amazing. I've got none left, I'm sorry, I ate it all. Um, my boyfriend actually got this in a monthly subscription box and I tried it, loved it, decided to go on Google and find out where they stock it. They don't stock it anywhere. But you can buy it through their website. They have three other flavours I want to try so bad. But wait for it. Their delivery is £4.99. Now, this popcorn's good, but I'm not paying £5 for delivery for popcorn. And you don't even get it the next day. But if you do get a chance to try this, do. It tastes so good. I've been craving it. I might just... I might just order it. By the way, I have a little bit of a cold, so excuse my sniffliness and voice. No burping yet though, touch wood. And now I don't have a music favourite, but I do have two TV slash Netflix picks. Netflix picks? That should be another video, Netflix play, play, play. Anyway, two things that I watched on Netflix, and they are stand-up shows. I love stand-up comedy. The first one I'm going to tell you guys about is by Michael Che. I've forgotten the name of the actual comedy show, but it is by Michael Che. I will leave all the links in the description. I'm not going to try and repeat any of the jokes, because that wouldn't be very funny. But if you are a fan of, say, Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, Dave Chappelle, then definitely check him out. I think he has performed on SNL before, I could be wrong, but this is the first I heard of him and I absolutely loved it and I would definitely check out more of his stand-up and that's Michael Che. And now the second stand-up that I'm going to recommend is Ali Wong and her stand-up is called something Cobra, Baby Cobra. Again, all links will be in the description and she is so funny. I loved her. She's quite, um, strange is the only way I can describe it. It's just the delivery of her jokes. It's just, she's quite kooky and she's heavily pregnant while she's doing this stand-up. She's awesome. I think she's my new woman crush. Definitely check out Michael Che and Ali Wong, both available on Netflix. And that's it for my monthly favorites. I'm so sorry there wasn't a music pick. I'll give you guys two next month. There you go, that's my promise. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and stay tuned for more. Peace. Hey, it's just me again. I'm just letting you guys know that you can check out my last video by clicking on the box just there. And whilst you're at it, don't forget to click the subscribe button too. Peace.